Today I'm going to show you how to create your weekly to-do list inside of ClickUp. So basically what happened is my ClickUp is a mess. I put a bunch of tasks in there and I put start dates and then I added some due dates and a few days go by. I'm pretty good on a couple tasks. I fall behind on some others and then fast forward like three weeks later and I'm behind on like everything. So when you go in there and you look at stuff to do, you'll see two things to do for that particular day because I like to just give myself two tasks a day. And then you'll see like 60 unfinished tasks. And so I'm just way behind. So I was like, maybe we should do a video on how to clean up ClickUp, but I was like, that's gonna take too long. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at that list of 59, as well as the other 59 things that have come in since then that I still have to do that aren't even in ClickUp. And we're gonna add both of those in there into a weekly to-do list. So we're just gonna kind of start fresh with the weekly to-do list. I'm gonna show you how to do that so you can still use ClickUp, but not have to like waste a bunch of time cleaning it up. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva. Yeah, that's totally new. In fact, my whole Planner Pixies membership is available in Canva as well. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like this because I need to plan my week and my ClickUp is a mess. So all right, we are now inside of my ClickUp account. Now, when I go to home, which is really the place you should start, you can see that, like I said, I have two tasks for today. Seems so easy peasy, right? However, I also have 83 overdue tasks. And right after that, I have 77 more coming up. And oh, by the way, I have 857 other tasks that I haven't even given start dates to. So. What does this mean? Usually for me, this means that I simply hit this X button up here, I get out of ClickUp and I do nothing. So let's not do that. There's still stuff we can salvage in here. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to spaces and we're gonna create a new space for ourselves, And we're just gonna call this our uh, weekly to-do list. And so today is Sunday for me. I oh, know it's Saturday. See, I can't even keep track of the days. And I am going to create a new weekly to-do list for myself. And this way, every week I can just go in, wipe this out and put a new one in there or rearrange stuff. So I'm just gonna put a little calendar icon as my icon for my workspace. As you know, I'm a solopreneur, so there's nobody in this workspace except for me. And there's nobody I have to worry about permissions with. So what are task statuses? So normally with task statuses, you have that con Kanban where you do like starting, in progress, done, or whatever other phases you wanna put in here. Instead, what we're gonna do is we are going to hit custom over here, and we are simply going to well, these are templates. So we're gonna create a new template um, and we're gonna call this week, weekly days. So that's the name of our template. So then we can use it again if we need to. And so inside weekly template, template, we are going to add a status that is called Monday. And we can make Monday whatever color we want. We're gonna add another status called Tuesday. We're gonna add another status called Wednesday. And we are gonna add another status called, you guessed it, Thursday. And we're just gonna keep going like this on down the line till we have all the days of the week. And look at that, we don't even have to like assign a color, it just automatically picked one out for us. Looks good enough to me. And done. So now you have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you wanna arrange some colors around, like gray looks kind of depressing, let's make that a light pink. Whoops, why didn't it make it a light pink? Make yourself a light pink, there we go. And then for Thursday, that light green might be kind of hard to read, so we could also change this and change this color, whoops, to maybe a bright blue. And clearly this is probably not that important, but I am a graphic designer. And so what ends up happening is colors are very important to me. So <laughs> I am rearranging them so that this is more aesthetically pleasing. Um, all right. I'm done, we have enough. So, and then we also have over here um, to do and complete. So we're gonna go ahead and say next. And over here, 
you could leave, like click up apps for me. It's not really a big deal. I don't really need priority tags just for myself. These are really just for you to signify, I think, to other people. I don't need to tag things. I obviously don't need to assign anything to anyone except for myself. Um, custom fields, don't really care about that or time tracking. So. We will just say next. Now, the view that I really like is the board view. So we are gonna make this the default over here. And we're gonna go ahead and create this space. And here we are, it's done. So now you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then complete. So these are our all of our tasks for the week. So what I like to do is I just like to brainstorm. So you could go into these different spaces where you know that you have things you need to do and you can add them here. But what I like to do is just start out fresh with things that I know that need to get done. So for example, I know that I need to post this ClickUp video <laughs> uh, to YouTube. Uh, and then I'm gonna save that. Uh, and you don't have to really worry. So the nice thing about this is you don't really need to worry about dates. I know I need to do that right away. So I'm just gonna put that on Monday to make sure I get this edited and make create a thumbnail, a description, and get that posted. Uh, and then what else do I have to do? I know I have to um, uh, share the slides for the print on demand challenge to Planner Academy students. So I know for sure I need to do that Monday. Well, actually the actual presentations on Monday, so probably Tuesday, because I like to make last minute changes. Um, and then as well, I know that I need to um, post the our email, everyone, that the price of Planner Pixies will increase after uh, September 30th. So I know I need to schedule those in Flowdesk. I should probably start sending notes out to people on Wednesday because I believe the 30th is Friday. So, okay, maybe I'll send notes to people. No, Wednesday's good enough. I've been mentioning it. Um, and then I need to uh, increase <laughs> the uh, price of Planner Pixies on the sales page and on Thrivecart. So, I know that I need to do that. Let's see, when do I need to do that? I need to do that on Saturday when I wake up in the morning. So that is a task for October 1st. Um, and so those are all of my tasks that I can think of off the top of my head. All right, so next we're gonna go, we're gonna move some of the tasks that are already inside of ClickUp over into our weekly to-do list space. So really easy. Um, I know inside of the website, so I know for sure the website, I need to update this product catalog that I've been meaning to update, honestly, since I think April. So if you hit the three dots in next to your uh, task, you can go to where it says move. So I'm gonna click move and then I'm gonna select that weekly to-do list. And over here, I'm just gonna move it into, oh, where'd it go? Move that into that weekly to-do list, into the list. So if I head over to the weekly to-do list, now I can see it over here right at the beginning. It's inside my to-do. So I know that I probably wanna work on this on Monday. Um, and then if I head back over to Pretty Fabulous again, to the website, I know that I wanna work on freebies as well. So if I hit those three ellipses again, and we just move that over to weekly to-do list, then when I head over here, I can see that right inside of here, and then I can schedule that probably for Thursday, because I can see, the thing I like about this weekly uh, to-do list too, is I can see like my spaces that are open for the week, like Friday, it doesn't really look like I have anything to do. Um, Saturday, I have something to do. Sunday, it looks pretty open, right? And so as I finish these tasks too, like if I was done with the freebies list, I can add it over here to, um, just say everything's resolved, I can add it over here to the complete. And that kind of like gives me a sense of relief, like, hey, I'm making progress, things are moving. And as well, if in case I fall behind, which fingers crossed that I don't, but let's say Monday comes and goes and I didn't actually get to anything that I needed to, I can just move that to Tuesday 
And then maybe that's too much stuff. I can move something else over to Thursday. And then maybe I could move something like this over to Friday. So it kind of helps me to manage myself for the week without getting so overwhelmed. Like when I go over here to home at ClickUp and seeing 83 over two tasks, right? All right, so I hope that was helpful. Instead of having to see your 83 over two tasks, now you can go ahead, you've made a new safe space for yourself, your weekly to-do list, and you can keep recycling this and using this every week, or you could create a new one for the week if you wanna start over, because remember, we created all of these daily statuses as a template, so we could just add that again. Um, and this, to me, is just an easier way to use ClickUp without really like having to clean it up, and like that's such a huge, overwhelming task right? So this is easy. It still gets the job done. And honestly, I think it might be even a best practice on how to use ClickUp to manage yourself for the week. All right. I hope everyone's ha everyone is having a great, a fabulous, and a wonderful week that is full of productive items that you have planned for inside of ClickUp, however you're using ClickUp. And I will talk to you later. Bye.